So now we got JD Sports right here, one of the newer open JD Sports in this mall. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what's up. As you walk in, you can see they have three great releases. These Jordan 3s are definitely slept on, maybe just the time of the year, but the colorway is definitely dope. Hopefully we find these with a sales tag pretty soon. We have seen these with a sales tag. I just don't remember, remember the store offhand, but let me know what you guys think about the Winterize 8s. Jordan 4 Olive Craft, some people love them, some people hate them. Let me know what you guys think about them. Running section for women. Now look at these, man. This is actually the first time seeing this colorway and it's already on sale for 95 bucks. You definitely can't go wrong with that. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Normally 210 down to 95 bucks. That's a steal right there, bro. What the hell? These are clean right here. The pink colorway for the ladies. 210 on the retail for these. Not quite sure if I've seen this colorway. White sail with the uh, gray little hint on there too. Still 210 on the retail for these. Not to duplicate too much inventory, but they got some of the same Air Maxes that we've seen in other places. And I don't know if you guys caught one of my recent videos, but they had these for 35 bucks at Roth right now, bro. They still have them here full retail for 160. So just keep that in mind. Always good to see a classic Air Max 97 on sale. Normally 175 down to 50 bucks right now. That is dope. Jordans and Jordan Retros here. We do have a couple that are on sale, but I'm not sure if you guys are really interested. Like these Jordan Mids were not bad with some good quality. Much different from what we normally see when it comes to Jordan Mids. Normally 130 down to 70 bucks. Isn't this like the Palomino colorway? UNC colorway is also pretty dope too. And we've talked about these a couple times. We have talked about these a couple times on the channel. People do like these. I've only seen them in grade school until this point. 135 on the retail, definitely a fire colorway with some good materials on this Jordan 1 mid. Of course, we got the Royal Reimagines here, still full retail. Well, let's double check that. Yeah, still full retail at 180 on those. Then we got the Jordan 1 Mauve, size seven and a half, all the way up to size 12 available which is dope. So they're on sale and they have a good size run left in case you guys are looking for a pair of these. Retro section is just on point here. Four Crafts, the Georgetown Fives, the Fear Threes, the Wheat Thirteens, Jordan Six Aquas. They got the Seven Chamrays. And there's no sales tag on it, but they are retailing for 160 bucks as opposed to 210 or $200. So they are on sale as well. Truly one of the best colorways of the Jordan 11 Comfort Low. 120 on the retail for these not on sale we've seen them on sale at other places but not here now we just seen these not too long ago at chic in the culver city mall like we are now for 99 bucks they got them here for 90 bucks size 8 through 13 they will go down cheaper so if you want them have a little patience you can get them for even cheaper than that this might be the cheapest i've seen them 70 bucks on the retail for the jordan stadium 90 definitely not bad so this is why it's good to have patience because you go to different stores, you find out for different prices. These are on sale for 90 bucks here. If you have a little patience, wait a couple weeks, they might go down to like 75 bucks. But let me know what you guys think about the Luca 2 Safari. This size run on the Jordan 4 Craft, still full retail of 210. And they got these Tatums here for 100 bucks as opposed to 120. I think only JD Sports has these marked down. Very solid colorway on these. What do you guys think about the Jordan Tatum ones overall? $75 for those here. Jaw One Halloween. Not on sale yet, still full retail at $130. Immortality 3s, down to 40 bucks on those. $85 on this LeBron NXXT. Definitely a solid colorway. And already down to 85 bucks from $160. First KD16 colorway, still at that $120 price point. These should drop down pretty soon as well. They don't have a sales tag on these, but these are on sale. Normally 200 bucks down to 160. Can't go wrong with these at all. Let me know what you guys think about the first colorway of the LeBron 21. This is the first location I've seen the LeBron 21s marked down. 170 as opposed to 210. Hopefully we can find these for a little cheaper at like 80 bucks like we've seen those other colorways. But let me know what you guys think about the LeBron 21. Now they do have these on sale, not as cheap as we've seen them at Shoe Palace, but they do got these on sale for 170 bucks. I believe this might be the cheapest I've seen them so far. 160, definitely a solid colorway. Look at that color combination, man. These are definitely fire. Size 9 through 13 available on these. Still full retail on these though. Colorway is not bad. I think that's like that uh, pine green also, or maybe lucky green, 130 on the retail. This might be a new colorway. Actually, it's not a new colorway. You get so confused with all the colorways of the Air Max 90s. They have a million and one. These are down to 80 bucks as opposed to 130. 160 on the Air Max 90 for these. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. 
pretty good colorway and material on them as well. 120 as opposed to 140 on these Air Max 90s. Solid new colorway on the campus. You got the campus material. You got the suede on there too. Look very, very comfortable. Still for retail at the $110 price point. $100 on the Adidas Form Low Grinch colorway. Good materials on these. Still full size run as you guys can see. These Vapor Max Pluses, talked about them before. Very solid $210 still full retail. But this colorway is definitely nice. Now this gray colorway kind of stands out to me too. It's slightly different from this gray colorway. One's a little lighter with a gray swoosh. The other one's a little darker with the like a dark gray swoosh. Not too bad. And still one of the best colorways of the Vapor Max 23 in my opinion. They do have these on sale oh. for 100 bucks, normally 210, size seven and a half to 12 available on these. Red colorway is also pretty solid, still for retail. Definitely a solid colorway on that Vapor Max 23. These are dope. I like this color combination on here, 175. These should go on sale pretty soon. Putting some white laces in here will make these pop as well. Maybe even some light blue laces to go with the accent on the back heel of the shoe. These with white laces would go really fire though. These with some white laces would look fire. 95 bucks on these, size 10 through 14. Normally 135 on these. No lace swapping needed, these are fine as is, but $95 is a good price point. These Air Max 90s down to 70 bucks. Got the nice color combination with materials too. Normally 135 on these. Air Max 90s, man, it's hard to mess up the shoe, bro. Having said that, I'm not really a fan of this color combination, even though it is black, white, and gray. Something about it just drops it off to me. I'm not really a fan of these. We got this JD exclusive Air Max 95 with the gold shiny and like the silver kind of shiny right there. Still full retail at 175, but these are pretty clean. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about these Air Max 95. Definitely pretty solid on these as well. Not a bad selection here at JD Sports overall though. And give me your thoughts on this job one. Scratch, I call it like the reverse scratch even though it don't have the same colorways as a scratch. I call it that because of the outsole. Still for retail at 120. Some pretty solid colorways so far but I'm not really feeling this one as much. But I do like it because it's not out everywhere. 2002 R's, 110 as opposed to 150. Size uh, eight through 12 available on these. This colorway is also 115, size 9 through 10 available. A little bit more short of a selection here. I wish we could have found those red ones, man. Those red suede ones was definitely fire. This school section is kind of what you see is what you get at every place. Still have five Georgetowns, Burgundy 5, Playoff 8s. A lot of different shoes here still available on the grade school side that you won't see on men's sizing. But it's like that almost every store. Even with these Michigan Dunks, I've only been able to find them in grade school, but this is a cook spot too, so maybe if they had men's sizes, they might be gone already. But let me know if you guys like these Michigan Dunks. Interesting Blazer Highs right here. Still full retail of like 90 bucks for grade school. Nike Dunk Low for the women. Size 5 all the way up to size 11. 95 bucks as opposed to 110. And I think I call those Dunk Lows, but you guys know what I meant. <laughs> Jordan 1 Lows, then we got these Jordan Mids here too. Still full retail, 135. Some good leather quality on here with the new Bucker suede material. Not a bad color combination and good materials. Still got these Jordan 1s on deck. It seems like nobody really wants those at all. And uh, these Jordan 1 Mids is pretty solid too. You know what you guys think about these slides, the Air Max 90 slides. Still full retail. Not a bad colorway. Haven't seen this color combination on the Air Max 90 slide though. Also pretty dope cut over here on the floor Jordan 11 Neapolitan so disrespectful they're just down there chilling seems like nobody can even really see these I think they need to put these a little higher let me go ahead and do that for them let me put that right there I mean to do no merchandising but come on have some respect on the Jordan 11 Jordan 11's up here the comforts 95 as opposed to 130 this JD Sports on point because they got a lot of clothes over here too it's more set up like the European styles overseas one side is all shoes and the other side is all clothes. As you guys can see, they got a whole sales rack, a few sales racks over here too. For men and women, it's like a women's side. And then they got the men's side like over here. 
but it's dope though. You guys see a lot of things discounted, marked down, which is always good to see. Different colorways on the gazelles for the ladies, 100 on the retail. I like to see different colorways of shoes and I wanna show them to y'all in case you guys don't see them in your area. That one's pretty solid too. And they got this new style of the Sambas with the platform bottom. They got them in green and red. These also retail for 100 bucks. Actually, these retail for 110 bucks. 120 on these, but we've seen them, I think somewhere a little cheaper than that. I'm not quite sure, but I feel like we have. If you've seen them in my video cheaper, let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead into Adidas really quick and see if there's anything in here worthwhile. And what I mean by that is if there's any dope basketball shoes. Speaking of really dope basketball shoes, make sure you check out my detailed sneaker review of the Adidas AE1, Anthony Edwards' first signature shoe with Adidas. A lot of dope tech on this shoe, very good feel. Let me know if you guys are excited or if you own these. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Adidas. Let's go ahead and look inside Adidas. Now these Sambas right here, I think these are for women, but I do like this color combination and the leather quality looks pretty good on here. Uh-oh, the tag ripped off on my hand. 100 on the retail for these. Let me know what you guys think about these. Just off the rip, what I came here for is not here. They still have the Dame 8s and the Harden 7s, but the colorways that we have seen before. But they do have the Dame 8s on sale, which is never bad. Very unique colorway to Dame 8s. You don't see these in too many spots. 50% off of the 120 price point. So now they're $64. $64.99, can't go wrong with that. And these are still full retail on these Harden Volume 7s. This colorway is also pretty solid. $160 on the retail. I do have a pair of these, uh, full detail review on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Harden 7. And this Ultra Boost kind of caught my eye as well. Still $190 on the retail. Pretty clean colorway, black with the gray. You got the orange, orange hint on the back along with the red hint right there. Kind of a gum outsole, still full retail. This colorway is also definitely pretty solid. Let me know if you guys are liking these or not. I do have products linked below the video that you guys can scoop up some of these shoes that you see in these videos for the same price or even a little cheaper. As I showed you guys in the Adidas outlet in the last video, they have a lot of good stuff here. At this store, nothing's really marked down like that except for like some things like you've seen with the shoes. But for your best Adidas deals, go ahead and hit up the outlet. Let's get out of here and get to the next store. Let's check out the happiest place on earth. Foot Locker in the Culver City Mall. Walking in, look at this unique colorway on the Dunk Low. Let's go check these out. Here is a little closer look at them. For the ladies, these are women's exclusive Dunks. 120 on the retail. Both of those Dunk colorways are pretty solid. As far as Jordans and basketball shoes for the women, nothing that we haven't seen. Air Max Plus, we've seen this red and black colorway. Let me know if you guys like it. Their House of Hoops section, let's go ahead and see what the basketball shoes and Jordan retro selection is like. Same things that we've seen in most spots here. Dunk Lows, Nike Jump 2, Nike Hustle 2. We also have the Air Max Penny 1s. Seen these before. They're still full retail at 180. If you go to some JD locations, you might find them for like 80 bucks. The Nike basketball selection here has definitely, looks pretty full. These are actually pretty dope, man. I've seen these online. If you guys want to scoop these up, they are available on the product page. Might be the best colorway so far besides the first game colorway. So let me know what you guys think about the LeBron next gen first game. Is this the best colorway that came out so far? I would say so. I like the nostalgia feel and how they're giving it more of a PE feel to this shoe. But let me know if you guys are going to pick these up or wait for them to maybe go on sale. $170 on the retail for these. Definitely one of the best colorways. Finally, they're starting to show up a little cheaper. 110 on the retail for these is getting closer to a steal, especially if you got discounts. Still 139 on these, we need these to drop as well. Then they got two of the best colorways for the LeBron 21 as we spoke of on before. Oblong Pearl, as well as the Conkylin. Full detail review on this shoe. And which one do you guys like more? Nike Zoom Generations, purple, gray colorway. Both of them still full retail. This purple colorway is just one of a kind, I'm not gonna lie. These 16 bads, still full retail at this location with a 3M on there as you guys can see. Is this KD 16 bad the best colorway for the shoe? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comments below. Two of the best players in the NBA, legendary players of course, both of them Hall of Famers with some good shoes and both of them have stepped up their shoe game as well. And you guys already know what I think about the LeBron 20 and 21. Definitely saved LeBron's basketball sneaker career, <laughs> in my opinion. We've definitely seen all of these shoes before, but this uh, Nebula colorway is by far one of the best for Luka 2 so far. 
Jordan Retro selection over here is definitely solid. Let me know what you guys think about the selection over here. Sevens, ones, thirteens, the latest fourteens as well. Good selection of shoes over here at this location. New colorway on the Jordan Legacy. I'm surprised it's still jumping out new colorways of these. Still for retail of 140. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Legacies. One of the best colorways of this shoe by far. Jordan 7 with these infrareds. Definitely a solid colorway, but still full retail. And if you've been watching my videos, you guys can find these for 99 bucks at a lot of shoe palaces. What are these called besides dope? I don't know what these are called, what nicknames for them. They do have some hats on deck here on sale, which is always good. They got newer era hats here for $4.99. Are you serious? Okay. We're just gonna scoop up some of these hats and drop them on the website, boscoskitties.com. If you guys are interested, go ahead and uh, scoop these up from your boy. Yeah, we can't pass this up. We about to run with these. Snapbacks too. I'm sure some people out there would like these. Down here, they have some more hats. I don't want to take them all. I'm gonna leave some for some other people. But they do have a good selection of hats here. $35 on these. Normally down to $4.99. That is a steal, bro. Adidas section over here, definitely not too bad. Trey Young's, Dame Ace, 49 bucks. But we are running with these. We found some more hats here. Laker hats, these are fitted. Can't ever go wrong with that. And we got the other Laker hats here too, or Dodger hats here too, so let's run those. Not bad. These white ones are actually dirty. I don't even want the hassle for them, so I'm gonna leave the white ones behind because they're just dirty. I don't want to have to clean them also, so we're gonna leave the white ones alone, but we're running with those uh, black Dodger ones. You guys can expect to see this hat on BoscoSGoodies.com if you guys are interested. I got like four available, and uh, plus that new KD jersey as well. So we found these for a steal. Big steal at this store right here, Foot Locker in the Culver City Mall. Resale shop up in here too, not too bad. Skechers basketball. Are you guys a fan of some Skechers basketball shoes? Or does it not matter to you? $150 in the retail. Definitely a light shoe, you know what I mean? Forget all the players that wear these, but I know Julius Randle wears some of these, right? I think there's a couple other players that do too. 150 in the retail, got Goodyear outsoles. 150 for all of them. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Kind of iffy to me, maybe just because of what I know Skechers to be and not really known for basketball shoes. But in 2024, it's about new things. All four of these are 150. Let me know if you guys like any of them. Briefly came into Champs to see what they had here on deck. And one thing that I see that a lot of stores don't have in this mall is the Cherry 12s in men's sizes. If I did see a Cherry 12 in this mall, it was a it was a grade school or toddler size, bruh. Definitely a classic retro right here. Still full retail, of course. What can you expect? But uh, it's just good to see these at least at some stores. And not a lot of locations had the Jordan 3 Midnight Navy still available. 200 on the retail. Definitely a clean Jordan retro. And I'm looking for these in my size for a little cheaper than it's 139. Nike Life of LeBron 20, still dope. And then look at this right here. They got these Shaq pumps for 60 bucks. Found them at the Burlington not too long ago for Bobby Thrift on that Bobby Thrift channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out those videos there too. But they got the Shaq Reebok pumps, normally 180, down to 60 bucks here at Champs in the Culver City Mall, bro. Denver Nugget Iversons, definitely a classic dope colorway here on these. Still full retail at 160 though. And they got the Kobe PE Iversons, still full 160. A lot of stores do have these discounted. Terrascape Air Max 90s down to 69 bucks. And the Air Max 97s down to 89 bucks. Two of the more recent colorways of the Tatum one. We got the cool gray, and I guess this is like a, I wanna say tie-dye or safari, more like a tie-dye feel. This is the most recent colorway that I had released. And then the cool grays are the ones before it. Paying homage to the cool gray 11s. Let me know what you guys think about the Tatum ones and what do you think about these colorways? Collection over here, pretty solid as well. Some of the things that we have already seen before by the boatload. But one thing that's dope to see over here is the Puma MBO 3s, a few colorways there. And we got the Scoot 1, the Puma Scoot 1. Not a bad shoe. Have a full detailed review on this shoe. If you guys are interested, go ahead and check that out as well. By far, one of the best colorways of the MBO3, the Dexter's Laboratory. We got a lacing tutorial, lace swapping to show you guys what the alternate laces look like. 
full review on feet, everything you want to know about this shoe, go ahead and check it out on my channel. And I thought this was the last colorway of the Puma MBO3, but apparently there's a whole nother colorway coming out, either now or dropping pretty soon. But they're dropping Puma MBO1s, new MBO2s, and new MBO3s in the same calendar year, which is dope to see. So that's gonna wrap up the trip here at the Culver City Mall. Let me know what you guys think about this whole visit in the comment section below. We checked out a lot of good stores, found a lot of good shoes, found some good things to scoop up. Uh, hit the like button, check out my website, BossGoSkills.com, and uh, leave your feedback. Like I said, hit the like button on this video, and maybe even share it. And if you're new, first time watching me, subscribe for more content like this, sneaker reviews, sneaker comparisons, lace swaps, lace tutorials, all that stuff to do with sneakers, you dig?